Hi, I'm Danielle O'Brien. I'm a, I have five C five six quadriplegia, and I have just recently got a new van that I can drive independently, and it's completely independent. I can get in, get out, get the car started, and go wherever I like. And it's just been life changing. I feel like I've been let out of jail. Um, after 26 years in a wheelchair, um, I've often had people accompanying me and it's just great to be, uh, have this increase in independence. And the van is, um, they're relatively new in Australia and it's one of the first vans to be able to be driven just with a four-way joystick uh, because I have much better movement in my right arm than in my left arm. The technology is um, in other vans, but they have two joysticks, one for each hand. Uh, and the van interacts with the wheelchair, so it's keyless. Um, so I'll show you how it works. On the wheelchair, there's a mode button, which I start off, I switch, and I go into tilt mode and put the chair on a higher tilt. And then underneath the chair, there's some props that come down and that just makes the chair more stable for driving. And then I tilt the chair back onto those props. And then I go through the mode button again. Now this is in van and the horn becomes the lock and the joystick opens the door. and it also brings down the ramp. Then I go back into drive and I can just drive up into the van myself. And I just line it up with my hand control and drive in behind the seat belt. And then I have to lower my um, hand control for the wheelchair to get that out of the way. And then I um, just slam into the driving dock. And then I'm locked into place. Um, and these buttons um, start the car up. And the headrest swings around behind me. And in the headrest, there's indicators um, and high beam and the horn and the windscreen wipers. And now I have to calibrate my um, control with the car. So I have to put the brake on and then it says it's the gas and the brake motor is okay. And then I align the steering. And so that's happy with that. And then I just put my hand in here. And these are the gears. So I'd pop it into drive and it's ready to go. To get the car organized, I went to Tom Ely, who's um, an, the occupational therapist who knows a lot about driving. It went to Capital in Dandenong to get the, the floor lowered and the ramp done and the, all of the chairs in and the restraints. And then from Capital it went up to Problem Management Engineering in Sydney and they, have the, they do the electronics. The whole process was very time consuming. So April 2009, I started the process and in February 2012 I got my license and at the start I just thought there was I would, there was no way I was going to be able to do it. It was a very hard learning curve but just absolutely worth it and yeah I just can't believe it's happened 26 years after having my accident. I'm out driving by myself.